be more science based. It'd be more or metaphysical or sometimes I'll flip signs and that tend to lose a lot of people, but it tends to allow it to go to different pay grades of people. Right. So when it when it lose you, I just sent it above your pay grade. So now I got to use a different approach. So now I can be more on a 3D right here in your face level. And from a 3D level, Chief Warhorse need all of the clans to support her in her work. That's all I'm saying. I send people, I'm asking the question, how do I get in touch with Chief Warhorse? And some of the people get overzealous because they want to see this energy flowing in the right direction, the right people who got the right um, blood ties to the land to make law on the land. We had to first get rid of the maritime law, the legal fiction, the uh, corporate jurisdiction of the Uniform Commercial Code that was deceiving us and leaving us out of all forms of socioeconomic development community development it was tearing down our families as fast as we tried to rebuild them so what do we do we have to identify all problems in the society and if you make a discovery that affects the collective clans across the land you share that discovery until everybody can understand who's doing the work that tells you who you are where you don't have to come from outer space you don't have to come on a slave ship you was already here because here wasn't here until we built it. And if it, it cannot stay hostile and bloody, it has to evolve into another form of warfare in order for the fight to continue without anybody losing until somebody finally loses. They brought that Bible over here and indoctrinated us with it. So the people over here, Mine is biblically indoctrinated, so when I bring up the four horses of the apocalypse, they know what I'm talking about. I could easily explain that to them because I know what it says and I know the symbolism that's tied to it that they use to trap us into this rundown, the whole map with the receipts. At first, people didn't think I had receipts until I produced the receipts. And they was like, where did you get this Negro from? Right? So... Um, I studied everybody's stuff. If they own this land and they got a doctrine that's tied to our oppression, I need to know what it say in order to tell y'all how to defend against, right? They didn't have an answer for the dirt they did. They were so caught up in the dirt that they couldn't even remember how we got here. So they didn't know what they did to us or what they did to themselves to put all of us in this system together. Mama said the good had to suffer with the bad until we figured it out. Well, it's figured out now. They look like us. The motherfuckers ain't us. They came from all parts of the place, but they didn't come from here. And just like they didn't come from here, they can start to leave. No, I'm, I'm probably not even supposed to be doing a live. Um... She did it that way because we ain't on no secret squirrel shit over here. That's what got us in this. We let them people come over here on that secret squirrel shit, keeping shit from us. And they was putting it in our face behind our back. Now we doing all this in their face. So, yeah, everything that she said in that video it was from the passion she had to take Chief Warhorse. I'm all with that. I'm all with that. I would like to get to know her and that brother because they seem like good people to communicate with. But um, I'm just telling y'all what I see from the research I've done on who we are and how we move on the land. And from my research, we are supposed to support Chief Warhorse, whatever she wants us to do. And that's all it is to it. And I might sound extreme when I say she had a, the blood right to call us to war, but she does. But she probably won't because she a mother. The mothers don't like war. That's that patriarchal father shit that they be playing war games with their son, having them fist fight in the basement and all that kind of stuff. That's not how the mothers operate. It's, that's, that's why she teach you to respect your elders, respect the man as a man, and he'll treat you like a man with the same respect you gave him. 
Every now and then, somebody going to be disrespectful and you within your rights to punch them in their shit and keep it moving. Right. But sometimes we get carried away in responding to the disrespect. But then sometimes we understand that it's not disrespect. It's proper perspective from the position of the person while they are looking at what they looking at. And from that perspective, they can best see how it makes them feel not knowing who this person is saying the things that he's saying. It's supposed to make you feel a certain kind of way. If it don't, the energy not moving. If the energy is moving and the energy is moving correctly, then now you start to see how it's supposed to go because I can send you there. I can send you there recklessly, but when you get there, you're going to have to still show respect in order to be able to get what you went there to get right now. My recklessness doesn't have to come from a place of malice. It could just be coming from a place of me speaking what I know I see and other people might not be able to grasp what I'm telling them until they go here for themselves. If I tell you somebody is a really good lecturer and you should hear their lectures, I probably can't explain to you why I like their lecture style. I probably can't explain to you how they deliver the lecture, but when you hear them, you say, oh, now I understand what you meant, right? So um, the Sister Phoenix was, she did a good job. She did, she was able to express her concerns as she viewed the video, but a lot of the questions self-answer in the video, but that's not the protective instinct listening. That's the intellect. When the protective instinct listening, key words cause hostility to burn in the passion. When I mention the word war, right? And the right to call war, that's to stir energy, right? When you know the energy moves the people and gets their attention in the right place when you use selective language, she has that power. Don't mean she going to use that power or abuse that power because with great power come great responsibility. And in the times that we in, Big Mama not going to put no power in nobody that's irresponsible hand at these particular times. You know? So. It said I had some questions, but ain't nothing doing but buffering. So we at the finish line. This is Rap City. The thing now is the understanding of us as a people. They told us all these lies to who we were. I had to iron all of the lies out in order to see who was lying to us, how they was lying to us, and who was telling us the truth the whole time that they told us was lying to us or was crazy or didn't know what they was talking about, right? I had to figure that out. But once I figure it out, if it affected clans, I got to put it in the public domain. Right now, the, mo the most important person for us to support, the word is support, give aid and assistance. Ain't no big eyes, no little use to Chief Warhorse. For the work that she did and the suffering she endured and the information that she's going to be delivering, it's going to help us understand our position on the land. And as long as, as we can understand who we are, and how we move. I told you how we use music because I'm a, I'm a high, high, high priest. I saw, I, I know how we use the music. We tell the story in the entertainment, in the arts and the crafts, right? But they don't think that we remember our ancient traditions. And because they wrote us off and they had to bring one of us that ain't been here in a long time that remember the ancient tradition because he wasn't here during all of the brainwashing. So they conjure you up, call you forth. Come fix this problem. Big mama needs you. She'll pull you from wherever she needs you in the known and unknown universe in order to not never fail us. Sometimes you have to endure to the end in order to find out what you was enduring for. 
Sometimes you suffer not knowing that you chose to suffer in order for you to be able to be stronger as a person. In order for you to be in the position at the right time to help the most of your people you can help. Right? So I'm, I'm, I'm all with Sister Phoenix Moon. I'm 100% in support of what she said. I apologize if she felt like I broke protocol in trying to reach out to the chief. That wasn't my intentions and, um, that wasn't my question. But when you have people that's ready to, um, see everything go where it's supposed to go, some of them get overzealous. I get overzealous. So, um, a lot of my times I talk, my overzealous disposition might sound rude and obnoxious, but when the politics ain't correct, it's hard for me to remain politically correct. And all of this dog and pony show need to be over. And we need the people that's supposed to be telling us what's going on on the land. Why is these clans out of order? We need to know. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I'm all with sometimes you got to punch a motherfucker in the face to do what's right. I understand that's necessary. Some give a to do what's right. I understand all that, you know, but my big mama sent me on a mission. My mama sent me on a mission. I'm on a mission. Ain't nothing to be talked about. It's not negotiable. I'm, who am I negotiate with? Cause they ain't here. So now it's just me. And I was born for a purpose. And the purpose was to tell the clans who's in charge of what. Where do I see them at? Why do I say that? And it's always based on one soul or one set of things, works, deeds, and suffering. We the ones who was at the bottom. So I know if we trying to do any work in our community for our people, we going to do some suffering. We going to have our own people in confusion, thinking they doing what's better than what you doing, trying to take what you doing and make you do what they doing. That's not how it worked with the clans. The ones who is about what's right going to show you who about what's right. And that's all I was trying to do. I wasn't even trying to. Really, I just wanted to know who said people to give her aid and support when I said telling Rod Hey sent you. That was like me saying, hey, I, I see you, sister. I see what you've been doing all these years. And now that I have drawn the attention of a sizable portion of people, I want them to see what I saw you teaching when I seen you teaching on those uh, PBS TV shows. In the, the rerun reels and all that stuff that... We've been watching clips of all over the place. We we need to hear that. That's necessary for the people in the community. And she's going to teach it like the mother that she is. And we're going to get it from a mother's perspective about her children being in disorder. She's going to correct all of that and the love that the mother teach with. Our first teachers was our mother's. But some of us didn't get the less the lesson we're playing down pat. That's where they can't follow the assignment. Sometimes we get so overzealous following the assignment that we forget to show the lesson plan. And the lesson plan is drop them receipts. So me and young girl to be trying to drop the receipts as much as possible, so they'll see that this is not something that we's pulling out of our AWS. This is a real deal. This is where. They did this to us. They said they was doing this to us. They told us this in their law. They even told us their law was fake. They told us that the crime was only here because it was commercial. All crime is commercial. And so if all crime is commercial, it's a money-making scheme that they used to uh, exploit us. Yep. IRS been absorbed by the treasury. Um, we, we going, we trying to get away from these unjust taxes, which we most likely will when the organic people re, um, position themselves on the land. Remember, we operating from the indigenous rights act and government right now. And we operating from the uh, continuity of government and artificial intelligence is using the law of efficiency to redistribute the money to hold the illusion in place as long as possible. They just gave us a warning that it might not be able to hold, the AI might not be able to appropriate finance beyond June the 1st with the little money they have left to try to run their system, right? So um, apparently the 
uh, military intelligence has been bankrupting those banks that was using us as collateral. Once they got us from out of them as collateral, they didn't have any way to sustain a prolonged period of exploitation. Right. <clears throat> so it's a lot of stuff going on on the land. A lot of us understand and a lot of us don't. It's even more of us that don't understand it that need pe people with patience and understanding to try to explain to them where they can understand what's taking place on the land and with the land, right? All of those treaties they signed was fraudulent. They was all based on a fraud. And they, none of them have a, a, a legal standing to be here, but they drug it out as if they did because we didn't know how to assert our superior claim of right in jurisdiction by going back to our tribal tribal oral tradition of how we do business and the chief that discovers it has to keep saying it over and over in ad finum until a sizable portion of the community understand what's taking place on the land where they can branch off and start teaching each other the women will start forming sister groups so they can understand more about the femininity and the understanding of the matriarchy the men will start forming into physical fitness groups and mentoring groups for the boys and <clears throat> where we start setting up um educational programs and all of the uh feeding programs and stuff for the people who haven't e been watching our show uh, that's um sister um contacted me on instagram and set up a patreon and this is what she did she took all my videos and then when i be giving references uh-huh she found the PDFs and put them on there and everything, all of the receipts, uh -huh. stuff I was saying, pictures. Uh -huh. She been putting it on there. Man, they got every single fucking thing. It's like, like, like the receipts about how they was gonna come over. How they said they weren't gonna know if they was, uh, they was from the, uh, where they was from. They forefathers, all that. She got look. Wait, when I when I do the class on this, bro, when I do the class on these books, like I'm gonna have every single picture she got in here, and I'm gonna show you how she got it lined up, and it's the same. Thing that Rod is almost like, damn, this take well, must have been listening to Rod. Or there's some she working with the same energy, it's got to be some connection because this right here shit is pretty much all your information and put into a book. It's like our, it's like our classes, the classes that we've been teaching, it's like they put them into a book and printed them out pretty much. All these classes, I'd like to get my, I'd like to give me a couple of them. Yeah, yeah, you go, they, I got them off of uh, I got them off of uh, uh, off of uh, Amazon. Her name used to type in the uh the books by Dr. Maria Charles. She got 15 different magazines, and it seemed like it was all our classes, word for word. I'm talking about not word for word, but it's like she got more information. Like she, like what we were saying, she took that and then put more. You gotta remember everything I be saying is in the United Nubian Sacred Record of the Moors. Okay, go ahead. Go by ahead. The, 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 the a lot of that information was dug up from the archives by Baba. Mm -hmm. And his research team, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And a lot of this stuff would have been out in scrolls by now had they not took Bob off the land. That's right. That's right. Because he was. This is when he was coming out with "Let's Set the Record Straight." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> he was putting it all out in the open then, mm -hmm. right? So, um, she so if she plan, could have had know. her own source of the information and still got the same information. I ain't telling nobody nothing new. No. What I'm, I'm saying just is, putting the pieces together in a different manner, and then she doing this. She probably from the same clans. That's right, Rod. What I'm saying is, is what you saying? You like people were saying, Rod, the only one. No, nah, nigga, Rod ain't the only one saying this. This lady, Doctor Maria Charles, got 15 magazines. Seemed like she took them off our clan. Well, I don't know for sure she did that, but the way it's worded, the way it's got all the, it's, it's just like me and Rod went did the research. She got them in there just like we were looking the shit up online. She got piece by piece, like every section that we looked up, or the pictures, everything. And then she got more information to verify what that you say what you saying. So you got hey man, you got it. And they, these right here books cost a lot though. Some of them, one of them is thin, like $45 just for this little book. So like a little thin joker, man. So uh yeah, it's like some of them like 16, some of them $12. She got like 15 ones. But if you get these books. You pretty much got our lessons right here on these books. And it's a doctor. Uh, like I said, I showed you a picture of her right there. That's her on the back. Dr. Uh, Reed Charles. Look her, up on, look her books up on Amazon. Man, Rod, when you get these books, you'll fall out your chair. You'll be like, damn, this lady, went, <laughs> this lady didn't went 
Finish these people off, bro. Yeah, look. I'd be glad to see I ain't the only one that know what's going on with our people, though. Man, March. She just put this out, bro. March twenty first. Uh, this this British this right here the book we're talking about the same stuff that you talking about on your Facebook two thousand nineteen. I mean, it like she just. I would be surprised. I ain't read the whole joint yet, so I would be surprised if your like your name pop up in this shit, man. I ain't gonna even lie. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, that's how. That's how. It's like, oh my god, look at even about the melanin. So the- when I when I was doing just basic um, lectures, 